Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a very special video because we are finally going to be setting up my Hobonichi Techo Day Free. So this is the A6 size and we'll be going through a few pages. And this is the first one. So this is like the front cover inside pages. And first I just took the adhesive pocket from a Hobonichi Weeks and I've decided to put it in here in my Day Free. And then I'm going to go ahead and just demo how I'm going to use that. And it's also going to be a guide for me for when I decorate around it. So here I'm just cutting up a few washi strips so that they are ready. I will be layering this on the top of the page. So here the washi that I picked are of different textures and colors. But... They go with the same theme of grid, so these are all my grid washies. Now that it's done, I'm going to go ahead and pick out alpha stickers from this sheet. And this sticker book is from Kmart, and I've had this for quite some time now. As you can see, it's very well loved. And I'm just spelling out the word inbox. So this is my inbox page where I can just switch out the notes or notepad that I put in there and this is the page complete. So this time we're going to go ahead and play with the front matter pages and I have this vellum sticky notes from Daiso and what I'm going to do is just set the placement so I'm writing some guides so that next time I know where to put this sticky note for the next month. So I'll be switching this every month. And the first month is December because this planner starts in December. Here I just took my Tombow brush pen and I'm writing down a little monthly calendar for myself. Just using this pen. It's not too neat but I think that's alright. Next I'm highlighting a little bit and the important dates are highlighted, especially if there are dates or several days for something to happen, like a conference that lasts for several days, so those are highlighted as well, so that when I open this planner, I know exactly what is happening. Here I'm just writing down important using the same brush pen on a sticky note that I got from Daiso. And this is where the important dates will be written on. So every month I will switch this out. Now that's all done, we'll be moving on to the calendar pages. And for this I'm going to bring out the washi dot stickers once again. And similar to what I did for my Hobonichi Weeks, I'm going to be color coding the months or the dots that I will be using and here I'm going to be covering up the 2020 calendar so that's this year's calendar and I'm just using this notepad from Kmart and I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this space using this washi tape and the alpha stickers and I'm gonna be spelling out the word projects and this is where all my projects will be listed, so the projects for this year. If I haven't said already, this planner, the Hobonichi Techo Day Free, is actually going to be my project planner. So that all the information about my projects will be consolidated within this planner. So here I just brought out my favorite Happy Planner sticker book. And... I'm going to go ahead and use some of these stickers from this book as decorations for these pages. And for the last thing for these pages, I'm going to be using the washi dots again to just put them on the 2022 calendar. And that's the page done.
Next, we're moving on to the yearly overview, and this is divided by month. So here it includes December, and I feel like this is going to be my most decorated section of my planner, but here I'm just going to demonstrate how I'll do it for December, and it's going to be decorated differently for every month, and I feel like when I look back in, on these pages, it's going to be super fun. So here I'm just using both my Geeky K sticky note and my Happy Planner stickers to decorate this. And then I also had these stars left over from one of my Plan With Me's. So I'll link that down below. And I thought that they are very appropriate for the theme that I'm going for. And now I'm going to go ahead and write stuff down on this section, December section. And these are just some birthdays that I want to look forward to. A lot of the birthdays are of my favorite K-pop personalities. And I'm just using my Kaweco pen and you have seen this a lot. Especially in my Instagram which you should be following. It is VaporJoyPH. Of course, I'm also marking some important dates, such as this conference that I'm going to, which is one project, and I'm actually blocking off a few days for it. And then at the top, I'm writing my priorities. And that's the page done. Now we're moving on to December, and this is the monthly section. First, I'm going to be using these washi dots once again to mark the conference that I'm going to. And I'm just going to write the description of why I am um, blocking off those dates. For the sidebar, I decided to divide it according to the weeks. And I just used this skinny bar to divide them. So that when I look at it, I know exactly which week or which tasks go on which weeks. And then for the top, I decided to write down my priorities. And I decided to highlight it by writing it inside this box that I just drew. So instead of using stickers, I just decided to scribble down things and just draw my own boxes. So here I'm just writing down in script form all of the different important dates that I have. And that is our setup done. So this is fully set up for December. I might do another one for January as well. But for now, here are the pages that we did today. I really like how this particular page turned out, the calendar one. And I think it's decorative as well as very functional. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in our next one.